This is a plexiglass tank with sand that I will use to illustrate some phenomena on soil water storage and flow and groundwater. It contains sand, rather coarse sand. And uh, I have the possibility to conduct water through the tank, inlets and outlets on both sides. And under the table there is a bucket with a pump making up a closed circulation system. On this side, I have uh, installed a number of groundwater observation tubes. I entered some uh, color into the tubes so that we can see the water level, which reflects the water table in the sand. If you look at the color of the sand, you can see that it is dark in the deeper part and uh, lighter in the upper part, in some way reflecting the moisture content of the sand. Now I dig a hole into the sand. The soil is wet, it sticks to my fingers, but there was no water in the hole until I came to the same level as the level of the observation tubes. And this is by definition the groundwater table. Below this level, all pores are filled with water. Above that level, in the unsaturated zone, there is water and air in the pore in varying degrees. We can also define the water table in terms of pressure. At the groundwater table, the pressure equals that of the atmosphere, the pressure of water. Below the water table, the pressure is above that of the atmosphere. We call it a positive pressure. And above the water table, the water pressure is negative as compared with the atmosphere. This is a tensiometer, a ceramic uh, little thing connected to a plastic tube. It is permeable to water, so I can suck water and start a siphon, and water is flowing through the tube now. I will use this instrument to measure the water pressure, the negative pressure in the unsaturated zone above the water table. For us to see a little better, I enter red color into the tube. And now the water level is at the same as the tensiometer. So now I install the tensiometer into the ground, some uh, 10 centimeters or so above the water table. The level in the tube is at the same level as the tensiometer first, but when it gets into contact with the soil water, the water is sucked from the tensiometer, and the water level goes down to that of the water table. And now we can see that the pressure at the level where I installed the tensiometer is about minus 10 centimeter. It's negative as compared to the atmosphere. I will now lower the groundwater table by lowering the cylinders at the side of the tank to see how it affects the pressure in the unsaturated zone. So now the water table goes down slowly and we can see that the water level in the tensiometer tube also goes down. So the pressure in the higher part 
of the unsaturated zone becomes more negative as I lower the water table. And in this way, the groundwater level affects the soil moisture up in the unsaturated zone. Uh, this relationship doesn't apply to any hates about the water table. Uh, in this core sand, it may apply up to a few decimeters above the water table, and in a finer material, up to a few meters. But uh, when the distance becomes larger, the contact is broken with the water table. So the water content of the unsaturated zone or the upper part of that zone has no connection with the groundwater level.